Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're going to be working on actually two lessons in one today. Multiplying powers of 10, we'll work on that one first. And then we'll also get to uh, multiplying and using scientific notation. Let's start with the first one, powers of 10. Okay, so let's just back up for a second. Here I have 10 squared and 10 to the third, 10 cubed. I want you to re remind you what this actually means, okay? So 10 squared means 10 times itself two times. 10 times 10. And what does 10 to the third mean? It means 10 times itself three times. Okay, now if I wanted to do 10 squared times 10 to the third, it essentially would be saying 10 times 10, that's what this guy is, whoop, times 10 times 10 times 10. Right? I might as well go ahead and write that out for you. 10 times 10, and then three more. Okay, which means we know we just add up the number of zeros. One, two, three, four, five. A hundred thousand would be our answer. And I wanted to put that in exponent form. It would be, since there's five zeros, 10 to the fifth. Now, it'd be a real pain to have to write this out every single time you wanted to multiply. So the shorthand rule for multiplying exponents is you add the exponent. See, we ended up with our 10 to the fifth as our answer, right? So 10 squared times 10 to the third means we're going to add the two exponents. Okay, that's the rule. When multiplying powers of 10, add the exponents. Just to make sure you got this down, let's take a look at these two problems. 10 to the 4th times 10 to the 3rd is going to be 10 to the, let's add the exponents, 4 plus 3 is 10 to the 7th. 10 to the 5th times 10 to the 6th, add the exponents, 10 to the 11th. That's the rule for multiplying powers of 10. Let's move on to multiplying numbers in scientific notation. Okay, so here we have two numbers using scientific notation, 2 times 10 to the 3rd and 3 times 10 to the 4th. So when multiplying these numbers, there's a certain process that we follow. I'm going to use the blue marker. So first thing is we multiply the whole numbers. 3 times 2 is 6. And then we multiply the powers of 10. 10 to the 3rd times 10 to the 4th. We just learned that we add the exponents when we're multiplying powers of 10. So we're going to put 10 to the 7th because 3 plus 4 is 7. And th that is your answer. It's just that simple. 6 times 10 to the 7. Take a look at this example. It's a little bit more difficult than the one I just showed you. The process is still the same, but we're going to add a little something at the end. First, we're going to start with the whole number. 6 times 7 is 42. Oh, how did I write a 7? <laughs> 42. And then 10 to the 4th times 10 to the 10 squared is 10 to the 6th. But wait a second, are we done? This is not how we write scientific notation. Scientific notation has uh, one whole number and then maybe a decimal right after it. So it, wouldn't, it shouldn't say 42. It should say 4.2, correct? So we are going to need to add one other power of 10, another move that decimal one to the left, which means this power of 10 is going to go up by one. Actually, let me show it to you just slightly differently. I want to change the way I just did that to you. So we're going to do 4.2 times 10 to the first. And then, that's what this means. Right? And then this is still my 10 to the sixth. Now let's multiply that again, right? So now we've got 4.2 times 10 to the seventh. I like that much better, much cleaner explanation. Okay, so remember that we only have to have a whole number, then we can have decimals after that, or spaces after that decimal point for scientific notation. Let's try another problem. Nine times 10 squared times six times 10 to the negative fifth. So this time we're bringing in a negative exponent. How do things change? Okay, so we are gonna first do our nine times six, which gives us 54, and then secondly, we do our multiplication, but we add our exponents, which means we're going to get 10 to the 
2 plus a negative 5 is a negative 3. Okay, but what I just told you is we can't keep this 54 as it is. So 54 is the same thing as saying 5.4 times 10 to the first. Then we multiply it times this 10 to the negative third. So this part is going to give us 10 to the negative 2. And then we still have our 5.4 right here. This is your answer. So again, here, we handle our negative exponents. We're still just adding exponents. So if you have a negative, just go ahead and add your negative, okay? And that's it. Pretty much I've shown you all the different variations that you can have when we are multiplying powers of 10 and using scientific notation. Okay, this is a good one for the practice set, so make sure you hit it up on NicoleTheMathLady.com, and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.